I have wanted to write a children's book for a really long time. I have a website that's based around things for kids and I just thought it would be really cool if I could write a children's book, but I had no idea where to start. And to be honest, my writing skills aren't that great. So when I discovered this way to write a children's book, I could not believe how easy it is and I could have a whole book done in less than an hour. With the help of AI, Canva, and Amazon KDP, my dream can become a reality. And that's just so awesome to be able to do something that you never thought was really going to be possible. And it's a passive income stream. So if you've aspired to write your own children's book, or even if you haven't, you can still do this. Anybody can do this. You don't have to have any writing skills. You don't really have to have much design skills the way that I'm going to show you. And you can publish a book on Amazon KDP, no matter who you are and just about anywhere in the world. The great thing about these books is that you can actually sell them for more money than like the low content books, because these are actually a storybook and they have beautiful, colorful illustrations and people will just pay more for these. You can make them in a hardback or you can make a soft cover. The low content books usually go for only a few dollars where these can go for up to like $15. So let's head over to my computer. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Let's get a book written, illustrated, and published within an hour. So we're gonna use ChatGPT to write our story for us. So you'll go to chat.openai.com slash chat and then go to new chat. And then just down here, we're going to type in as detailed as you want for your story. So I'm going to say, write a children's story about a bunny and a dog with a lesson about sharing. So you can see it wrote a whole story for me here. Now this is kind of long. If you wanted your book to be short, um, you could specify like an amount of words. Let's add that. Let's say 300 words. Then that way I'm not making 5,000 pages in this book. <laughs> So let's try to get them to make it shorter. So I'm going to say 100 words. Chat GPT remembers the conversation you've had before. So as long as you keep adding stuff, it'll remember what you've said before. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this paragraph and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go to a plagiarism checker. So you can use any of them. I'm going to use this one because I used it before and I know it um, is easy to use. And then I'm just going to paste this text that I copied into here and then I'm going to check plagiarism because the last thing you need is issues with someone saying you copied their stuff. So as you can see here, it says 0% plagiarism. So we're good to go to use this. So now I'm gonna head over to Canva. Now, I do not like having to go through all the hassle of like all the page margins and all of that stuff on Canva. So after I design on Canva, I put this into BookBolt. So I'm going to make it the size that I want, but then I'm going to let BookBolt do all the hard work for me. So I want to change this to inches. I'm going to make this book eight and a half by eight and a half. Now we need to make our illustrations um, and then put the text on the pages. So I'm going to go to elements and look at my story here. I'm going to search for an outdoor background. So this one looks cute. So I'm just going to stretch it to fit and then just find the section that I want to use. 
and then let's find a dog. So if you click on these three dots right here, you can look at all the other ones that this designer has made. So I want to look and see if they have this dog in any other like positions or anything like that so that I can change him up in my pictures. So it doesn't look like it. I think I'm going to choose a different one because I don't I don't want to be stuck with only one picture. So let's see if this one, this designer has this beagle. So let's see. This designer has other ones, other positions of this dog. So I'm going to use this one. And then I'm also going to see if this designer has a bunny. Then that way it'll kind of all go together if, he if there's a bunny here too. My graphics will kind of match that way. So there is a bunny. Okay, so what line are we going to put here? So let's copy that text and then put a text box. And then we can just paste that in there. And then I'm going to move it up to the top. So you could use the same background on the next page if you wanted. Um, just copy and paste it, or you can do a different background if you want a different scene. So I'm going to put the bunny over here with like the back to the dog. So now I'm going to find a carrot because that's what this page is about, the dog taking the carrot. So let's add that. I'm going to make a teardrop because the bunny is sad. And then I'm going to grab that other line of text and put that on. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to duplicate this text box and just move it down to the next page because I want to make sure the text is all the same size. That will just prevent me having to resize it. So I'm just going to paste in that next line. And then I'm going to duplicate this page and then just remove the dog and the bunny. I'm going to scoot it over so it's a little bit different scenery. So I'm going to grab the next line of text that I want to put on this page. So because my text isn't going to show up on this one because of the picture, I'm going to have to add like a white box or something around it to make it stand out or whatever color of box you want. You get the idea here with this. Now I want to show you one other way that you can get your illustrations. So if you go over here on the side, you'll see at the bottom there is apps and then this text to image. So if you didn't find the elements that you wanted in the in the elements tab, you can just type in the scene that you want. So you could say illustration of a dog and bunny outdoors. So we have this one here that's pretty cute that you could use. So that can help with your illustrations. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cover for this book. I would use this separately from don't use don't use these and then that. This is just another option if you don't find what you want in the images, you can have the AI make an image for you. So I'm not going to keep that because it doesn't go with the rest of my book. Now, of course, I would finish this book before I do anything else, but I want to move on here. I don't want to be taking too long showing you all the things, but you see how easy it is to put this together. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is make an image for my covers. So I'm going to use the same background because that's just what's going to be in the book. So I may as well, right? So I'm going to copy that and paste it. And this is not the only way to do this. I just, this is how I find it the easiest. And, you know, you can play around with things and see what works for you. So 
So let's see what this says for, let's have it write a title for our book. So this is the title it gave me. I would say Benny and Duke, the importance of sharing or something like that. Benny and Duke learn to share. This is a font that I have uploaded, but I think it looks cute. So let's make that bigger. Okay, and then I need a page for the back too. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to put the dog and the bunny on the back side. I just wanted to have something to put on the back so it'll look cute. Okay, so. I'm going to pretend I have all the pages to my book. So I'm going to download all the pages to my book separately. So that'll be those three pages. Don't make your book only three pages. Okay, so we're going to do PDF print and all five, um, not all five pages. I'm going to choose the pages that I want. One, two, and three. Done. Then I'm going to do CMYK since we're doing this as a printed book. And then I'm going to download that. Then I'm also going to download my two cover pictures separately. So I'm going to save those as PNG. So pages four and five. So now I'm here on Book Bolt. I'm going to go to Research and then Create and then Book Bolt Studio, and then I want a new project. So you can make this either paperback or hardcover, depending what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to go with paperback, and then we'll say Benny and Duke book. So this one's going to be 8.5 by 8.5, and, and we'll do premium color interior. So we'll go with 24 pages, and then the bleed is the bleed means it will go to the edge of the book, not have like a white area around it. So now I'm going to go to this file library here. I'm going to upload my PDF that I just saved. So I didn't set any margins, so I'm going to put no margins here. And that's why I put this in Book Bolt because it will take care of all of the margins for me and I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to start with my cover images. So this is going to be the back of my book. So you can see it has the margins on here and everything for you so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Just make sure that all of your stuff fits, the stuff that you want to be seen fits within those margins. Okay, so there's my cover. Make sure that it's centered properly and everything. Okay, so now I'll go to page one and then I'm gonna go grab that image. So it shows you here the margins. So you can either, if your text and stuff isn't gonna get cut off, you can spread this out across the whole page. And then I'll go to the next page and grab the next one. So this one, the text is too far out. So so I'm going to have to make all of them with the white outline then. So just fit your page within the margins so that nothing gets cut off. We'll say my book is finished. Obviously, I don't have all of these pages filled in, but if I had finished the book, then everything would be filled in here. So now what I'm going to do is save this. So I'm going to go to Download and then Download Current Project CMYK Printed Books. This is going to save the cover and the interior to a zip file on my computer. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go over to the KDP site. So I'll click Create here, and then I'm making a paperback. So I'm going to put my book title here. Okay, so for the title, you want just whatever the title of your book is. Then for the subtitle, you can add things with keywords in there. So um, if you wanted to say, a book about sharing, um, a book about sharing with others, kindness book. I mean, I didn't look any of these up, so you want to do your keyword 
research and see what keywords would be good for this book. I just wanted to show you how to make the book. I'll be making another video on keyword research for your KDP books soon. So this is not a part of a series, but if you wanted to make it a series, like you could do Benny and Duke books about all different lessons. Um, you could add your series details here. No edition number either because it's not, it's the first edition. <laughs> and then you can add your author name in here. It does not have to be your name. It can be a pen name. And then there were no other contributors, so I don't need to do that. And then you write a description. So what I would do for the description is go and look at some of the other books that are similar and kind of see what they wrote as far as their description. Be sure you put keywords in here. And then you want to click I own the copyright. And then you're going to type in your keywords here that you've researched. So the categories, you can find categories on BookBolt too. So go to research and then K2P categories. So type in whatever type of book it is and then you can see. So this would be good, juvenile fiction, picture books, juvenile fiction. So here we go, picture books. So save that. You can choose two categories. So we could do animals because we have animals in here. So just choose the ones that fit best. So it's not low content. Um, so if you made your font larger than 16 point, you can do a large print book. I think mine was. That's no. And then you save and continue. Okay, so if you don't have an ISBN number, then you can just have them assign you one. And then if you want to put a publication date, you can. So we're going to do premium color interior with white paper. And then we did eight and a half by eight and a half. So choose if you want matte or glossy. I'm going to go with glossy for this one. And then right here, you click to upload what you saved from BookBolt. You need to extract those from the zip file first. So we're going to grab the interior of the book. And then we're going to upload a cover that we already have. So then grab your paperback cover from BookBolt. We're going to look at the preview of it. So there we have our cover and then our interior first page. Now I would make a title page for the first page. I just wanted to show you how to make the actual book pages. So I didn't bother with a title page, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So of course I should have more pages here, but this is what they would look like. So then you click approve if you're okay with it. And then now it's gonna tell you down here what the printing cost is. So it's gonna be $3.65. So you can sell worldwide and then um, where you expect the majority of your sales to come from. Mine will just be regular Amazon.com, not any other countries probably. Um, and then you can put in the price that you would like to charge. So let's say we're gonna charge $8.99 for this book. So it's gonna tell me how much I'll make and then it'll tell the price for all the different countries. So minus all the costs and everything, my royalty would be $1.74 if I priced it at $8.99. If I price it at $10.99, then my profit's going to be $2.94. So you can charge however much you want for your book. Just that'll tell you how much you're going to end up making right here under the royalty. That's the amount that you'll get. So then you'll scroll down here. It's going to tell you that it could take 72 hours for it to be on Amazon. You can order a proof if you want to here. And then you just click right here, publish your paperback book, and it will start getting it ready to go on Amazon. And then that's all you need to do. It'll They'll send you an email um, in a day or two and let you know when it's been published. Um, and is active on the site. I would resize this book and make it 
an eight and a half by 11 and I would put it on Etsy to sell as a printable or ebook so that you have another income stream from the same book. So, you know, why not make more money from the one thing that you created? If you want to learn how to make some low content children's books that you can put on Amazon or on Etsy, be sure to check out this video where I show you how to make coloring books in three different ways in Canva really easily. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.